What's up, everybody? I am back. <clears throat> well, let's see how long uh, I can record a video because <sighs> I'm so mad, you guys. We had a Tesla as a rental while this was gone, and man, I tried to record a video and I ran out of storage multiple times on my phone. I have a t uh, iPhone XS Max. It's pretty old, but it was recording in 4K, and I didn't really realize it, and this is only a 64 gigabyte phone, so it kind of would uh, lose storage quick, so. But anyway, we are back. We had a Tesla Model 3 as a rental car replacement for this car. Why, you may ask? Well, because this car was in yet another accident. This time, I believe, personally, it should have been totaled. Um, it was fairly bad. I'm going to try and see if I can, like, blow up a picture on, on your screen or anything. But basically, um, my dad was on his way to the little convenience store up the road. He had just dropped my mom off at work. And um, he had the green arrow to go. And this girl with a baby in the backseat ran the red light in her white Kia, I think it was a Forte, and she slammed right into him um, all around this area of the car to about the middle side of the door. So the car has now been in two accidents, which is just great. Um, so little backstory, um, we had it towed to the record lot, and after about a month, of fighting with their insurance. He was finally able to get it green lighted to go to a body shop. Fighting with their insurance, meaning it took them forever to get an adjuster out there to figure out if it was totaled or not. And un unfortunately it wasn't. I say unfortunately because now it's it's got no value to it, really. It's and it's it's got a hundred thousand miles, it's old, and um so it looks like this one will be sticking around, no trading in this one anytime soon. Um, so from what I understand, whole new quarter panel, whole new door, repainted mirror. This is just like debris and stuff. Um, new wheel, same tire, new used headlight, which is disgusting, but it is nice and clear, which is nice. Um, orange peel bumper, which sucks. It's ridiculous. Um, it's, God, you can see my feet. Um, personally, we are not very happy with this body shop at all. You can already see some of the paint has started to rub off and flake off. He is very disappointed in them. And if you look up under here, you see that I have a towel up under the car. Why is that? Because the car currently has an oil leak and we've got to take it in tomorrow, Tuesday, to get that checked out and looked at. As well as my dad's favorite feature of the car does not work currently. They're going to check that out tomorrow too. The parking sensors. The parking sensors do not work, the front or the back, and they forgot to put these little rubber strips around them, so they look it looks cheap and broke, and this one is kind of caved in on itself, so that's great. We're very, very disappointed in that. Um, this body shop had a 4.2 star rating, and I mean, like, they really did a mediocre job. I probably could have done better with a fucking Sharpie and a heat gun than them, honestly, but anyway. Also, <laughs> little rant, you see how on this side the hood's fairly flush, the gap is nice and straight. This side of the hood, on the other hand, the gap is bigger, the hood looks a little more popped out open, and you can see here I can actually fit my finger up under the gap. Not very, this is the part that really bothers me about the car out of everything, so. But they did clean off this headlight looks brand new as well um as you remember this one was really starting to oxidize around this side even though the car is garaged um so yeah so yeah it's got to go back tomorrow for the oil leak and the parking sensors front and rear parking sensors not working for whatever reason even though the rear of the car was not hit for whatever reason they don't work so they've got to fix that dad is not happy about that um he's not really happy about any of it but he was very ticked off we found out it had an oil leak, which of course it didn't have before, and the parking sensor's not working. So, but anyway, let's get into the car. So yeah, 
This poor thing has been through a lot. Uh, it's got 103,000 miles on it now. Um, the accident happened right at 102, I believe. So <laughs> as far as mileage, he's done good, but that's because the car was not drivable. Um, so yeah, of course, still like, even though, you know, lights are replaced, it's there's um, still the uh, HIDs, fold in mirrors, of course, one of his um, uh, liked features of the car. You can see my car here, nice and shiny. I just washed it and put some spray on wax on it and gave it some tire shine. So rear of the car looks the same. Tires, um, dad cheaped out and did, he got a brand new Firestone because it, the Michelin that was on here popped. And then he went like a couple days after, this was during um, February, Texas snowstorm, a couple days after and got a used Toyo something, I don't know, cross open country tire, I don't know why. Um, oh, another thing. At the body shop, this poor bald Michelin tire has collected about three nails. I'm gonna see if I can find them. Ah, oh, they must be on the other side of the wheel because I can't find them. Here's one, there's the other, and there's a third right in the middle somewhere. So yeah, tried to go to this count tire and get that pulled today. Um, they would not let me because the tire tread on these back two Michelin tires are so low. So he is gonna have to be forced into replacing these. Now that he's gonna keep the car, um, or plans to keep on the car since it has no real value, I think he's gonna go ahead and just get all four new tires. Be in his best interest anyway to spend a little more money and invest in the car since it doesn't seem like it's going anywhere. So yeah, let's go ahead and get in after six minutes of rambling. I'm sorry about that. Um, we are happy to have this car back. We, did, we do really love it and did miss it. Of course, the plan was to upgrade to XT5, but with inflation, how prices are still super high, and the fact that this car has now been in two accidents and really does not have any value anymore, I am very doubtful that we will get an XT5 anytime soon. Oh, get in here. You hear those nice GM creaks and rattles, but you know, something you deal with. So if we get in, God, it's always super nice and quiet in here. One of the things my dad loves about his Cadillac. Push the button to start, of course, which was a very new feature for us back in the day. Now we're used to it. Um, you can see that the blind spot does work and it does work out on the road. The front um, uh, collision assist does work as well. Works great. Um, everything works in here. Heated, you know, every, heated seat, heating steering wheel, GPS. Oh, let's get off of my neighborhood though. Um, however, the, like I said, and the back of the camera works. But like I said, the, the um, parking sensors do not work. Like I have, like you guys have seen before, usually there's a triangle in the middle. It would start beeping immediately because I'm in the garage. And you can see right here on the screen, service park assist system. Um, so if I go ahead down here and press the button, you can see it just blinks a whole bunch of times. It doesn't do anything, nothing happens. Same when I put it in drive. Usually when you put it in drive and we're this close in the garage, it would go to a uh, little diagram of the car and show the bars. It doesn't do that. So that's something that will hopefully be fixed tomorrow. Let's actually go ahead and reverse just a little bit out, kind of parked far up in the garage here. But as you can see, look, everything works fine. Mirrors, power folding mirrors work fine. Auto dimming mirrors work fine. Of course, we have the sunroof, whoops, sorry. We have the sunroof in here, which we did miss. The Tesla only had like the glass panel, tinted panel, the sunroof didn't actually, the glass didn't actually open, it wasn't a sunroof. Dad really disliked that. He really disliked that there wasn't a cover for the Tesla like there is for his car, so. But anyway, um, let's do a mileage check just real fast. Um, odometer, 103, 271. So he's already been putting the miles back on this thing. Um, it is due for service at Classic Buick GMC at 102. So we're a little over the sticker. I think oil life is about at 25% if I'm correct. Let's see if we can go in here and look. Come on, you're in here somewhere, I know you are. 25%, exactly, I was right on the money. Um, so. Yeah, it'll be time. Um, instead of servicing at Classic Buick GMC, eh, you know, everyone has raised their prices. Um, the reason we would service there, not only is it because it was closer to our house, but it was about $30 to $50 cheaper. Now, 
everything is so high they've raised their prices to the same as the actual cadillac frank kit cadillac dealership that we would take the car to usually so um i'm thinking about just taking it back there usually servicing this car is usually like my chore um taking it in and getting everything done to it that it needs so i'm just gonna take it in there i think it's about 80 bucks for tire rotation and oil change and then whatever miscellaneous things that they recommend that i decide to do or to not do or dad actually dad decides to do or to not do because he's the one paying for it <laughs> but um but anyway any, everything still works in here like i said besides the parking sensors and the fact that it has a small oil leak which is again all of that is going to be fixed tomorrow back here is still the same power trunk still works um, it does make that ugly noise, which we're not very happy with, but it still works. And, um, it's made that noise since we've had the car. So, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this update. I'm so sorry. It's been so long since I've posted anything to YouTube. Um, just kind of haven't really had anything to post. Um, <laughs> you probably see a change of scenery here in a couple, uh, about six more months to a year. Um, as I am entering my senior year of high school, so, and I'm also graduating high school early, December of 2022, so I will be gone and out of the house by spring, um, which is crazy. I feel old. <laughs> Not even 18 yet. I turned 18 November, so yeah. But anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will try to post this and obviously changing my camera settings to 1080, uh, uh, P has helped let me record longer videos like this, which is great. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will talk to you later on. Peace.